Archaeologists found the perfectly preserved corpse of a 350-year-old French noblewoman underneath the site of a former medieval convent in the French city of Rennes a team of archaeologists were hard at work slowly they uncovered secrets that had remained buried for hundreds of years but when the researchers pried open the lid of a 350 year old coffin little could have prepared them for what they found inside located in Brittany in northwest France Rennes has been a thriving settlement since it was founded by a Gallic tribe in the second century BC over the years the city has grown and today it's home to more than 200,000 inhabitants however as Rennes moves into the modern age its landscape is changing irrevocably just one example of this modernization is the one-time Jacobin convent a Dominican building initially constructed as far back as 1369 in the convent's heyday it acted as an important burial site and was particularly popular with the upper echelons of the Rennes society Today, however, construction workers are busy transforming the historic convent into a state-of-the-art convention center equipped with auditoriums and exhibition rooms. But before work could begin, archaeologists from the French National Institute of Preventive Archaeological Research, or INRAP, were called in to survey the area. Between 2011 and 2013, a team of archaeologists carried out an excavation where the former Jacobin convent lay. Eventually, moreover, they would uncover some 1,380 burials, mostly dating from the 14th to 18th centuries. However, there was one discovery in particular that has been generating much excitement. Among the skeletons that littered the site, archaeologists discovered five coffins forged from lead. Unfortunately, one was lodged so tightly under one of the former convent's walls that it was impossible to remove. But when archaeologists were finally able to remove the casket in 2014, they were amazed by what they found. As they opened the sealed coffin, researchers expected there to be little of the occupant left inside. However, they were soon confronted with the body of an aristocratic woman who had died more than 350 years ago, and incredibly, her remains were preserved down to every detail. In fact, even the articles of clothing in which she was buried were intact. We saw at once there was not just a well-preserved corpse but a mass of material that was still supple and humid and shoes. Inrap archaeologist Rosen Collider told The Guardian in 2015, because the coffin was completely sealed, it had kept everything preserved. Taking a closer look, the archaeologist realized that the woman was still wearing all the trappings of a simple religious life. Among the items were a woolen habit, a linen shirt, a cape, a scarf-like garment known as a chasable, leg warmers, and a pair of cork-soled leather shoes. Furthermore, a crucifix had been placed in the woman's clasped hands, and her right arm bore a devotional scapular. Interestingly, too, several coverings, two bonnets, a hood, and a shroud had been placed over her face, obscuring her features. Yet although the body itself was remarkably well-preserved, archaeologists knew they faced a race against time to keep it that way. We had to move quickly because once the coffin is opened, it sets off the decomposition process again after 350 years, Kelleter said. We had 72 hours to bring the body down to 4 degrees, 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit, to preserve everything. With the woman's mummified body subsequently safely removed, researchers began conducting tests on the fascinating find. Interestingly, they discovered that she'd been suffering from kidney stones as well as adhesions on her lungs when she died. Her heart, moreover, had been removed with surgical precision. But just who was this mysterious woman? Well, on top of her coffin, archaeologists found a clue. A lead container housing an embalmed heart. That said, the inscription suggested that the heart was not her own. Instead, it appeared to have belonged to a knight named Toussaint de Perrienne, who died in 1649. Armed with this information, researchers were able to identify the mystery woman as Louise de Kengo, de Perrienne's widow. Scientists believe that after the knight's death, de Kengo was presented with the heart at the convent where she subsequently spent the rest of her life. Then when she died, the organ was buried alongside her. Amazingly too, de Perrienne's heart wasn't the only one recovered from the Jacobin convent site. It was in fact one of five such discoveries, each housed within its own lead container. As well as Perrienne's, three of the other hearts bore inscriptions that allowed researchers to identify their owners. Among these other hearts were those belonging to a man named D'Artos, to a man known only as La Bossière, and to a lady by the name of Catherine de Turnamine. Unfortunately, though, researchers were unable to discover any more information about these people. Today, only their names remain. 
In any case, soon the hearts were attracting attention across the scientific community. A team of radiologists were called in and using CAT and MRI scans, they were able to closely examine the structures of these centuries-old hearts. Interestingly too, although one was healthy, others showed signs of coronary disease. Now back in 2015, radiologist Dr. Fatima Zora McCrane dismissed the significance of finding Deperian's heart in his widow's grave. It was common during that time period to be buried with the heart of a husband or wife, she said in a statement from the Radiological Society of North America. However, as time passed, experts realized that this was not the case. According to Colliter, the discovery in fact represents the earliest known incidents of such a practice. Although some French aristocrats had been known to order the removal of their hearts after death, this was the first time that archaeologists had seen the process performed for romantic rather than religious or political reasons. Such insights notwithstanding, this tale has something of a sad ending though. For while Dekengo's descendants eventually reinterred her body in Tonkadek, some 100 miles from Ren, Deperian's heart has remained frozen in a laboratory awaiting further study. As for Dekengo's own heart, well, its whereabouts remains a mystery.